It is the 9th of the 6th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start off on SOT.net. Shaking booms snap trees in half just days before Indiana radiation incident. It was only recently reported that a rather significant, concerning, and mysterious spike in radiation occurred in North Indiana, South Michigan area, causing widespread alarm throughout the nation. And I know I put a video out yesterday concerning this. Uh, this goes on to continue the story. Um, again, the cover-up continues, or, or the, the dishing around kind of thing, censorship. Uh, they do have a video on this story. The channel is no longer there, but if you click on the story, uh, they got Dutch Census video as a secondary, and it kind of shows where he went to the radon uh, site and saw the spike there as well. So something definitely is amiss or happened uh, in Indiana not too very long ago. Starving crown of thorn starfish in mass, in mass stranding in Japan. And apparently um, hundreds of crown of thorn starfish found on the beach in southern Japan in January stranded themselves because they were starving, say researchers. Now they discovered these uh, starfish back in 2009. Uh, juveniles starting to munch on the coral reefs on the island, and uh, they've eaten their way all the way up to the shoreline, kind of thing. Double 4.2 magnitude earthquake rattle towns in Australia's southeast. This is a very rare thing indeed. Officials in New England region of the Australian state of New South Wales are breathing a sigh of relief, with no major damage found from two earthquakes that hit on Friday night. Residents were shaken when two magnitude 4.2 quakes hit within a few minutes of each other. And they were describing it as a big jumbo jet flying over and uh, there was some window damage and that kind of thing. But uh, isn't there a whole lot of fracking going on down there? 5.1 earthquake hits western Turkey, Bulgaria rattled as well. And a bizarre ice storm lashes... Uh, Dongal in June, winter-like scene, flooding and fierce winds as recent heat wave found heat wave a fond memory. Bizarre Irish weather for June has resulted in an ice storm in um, Dongal and pounding rain and flooding throughout the country. The ice storm left several inches of ice near the village of uh, Termon and uh, the Irish Independent reported. So they had a freak storm going on there. Uh, RSOE's got some alerts going on for whales as well. And finally, huge hole photographed by satellite. This was off the coast of Tasmania. Uh, NASA's Aqua satellite caught an, an arresting image of a strange, enormous weather system off the coast of Tasmania, June 5th, featuring a cloud hole wider than 620 or 1,000 kilometers at one point. Uh, they're saying this was an anti-storm system due to the low pressure or whatnot, and these clouds were normal um, sea clouds off the coast, that kind of thing. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, freak hail storm strikes Durban, South Africa. Uh, freak hail storm uh, caught Durban off guard on Friday night with unconfirmed reports damage of roof tiles and gardens and uprooted trees. Western Turkey's earthquake, some economy stuff, Italy's hospitals at risk in earthquake prone region, 4.5 magnitude quake strikes northern England, uh, the rattling continues up there and they're saying these, these buildings are so old and ancient and uh, they were not meant to withstand earthquakes. Uh, strong activity reported in Italy's Strom Stromboli volcano. Uh, they're saying the volcano is in a phase of strong activity. Report by visit visitors and images taken with webcam show a particular that in particular the northwestern vent to the summit crater often produces strong explosions that shower the crater terrace with incandescent lava. And ow. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, U.S. experiencing its warmest spring on record. The continental United States experienced the warmest spring on record this year, with temperatures far above the average over the past century, government scientists said on Thursday. Uh, we were calling last winter the winter that never was. Uh, we had an extended fall here. 
Awakening earthquake swarm reported on San Pedro Palado. Volcano eruption would be the first in recorded history. Um, they're saying likely the last time this, um, this is in Chile, last, likely the last time this volcano erupted was over 10,000 years ago, and it's kind of uh, gearing itself up. Me mega bloom of tiny plants under Arctic sea ice tied to climate change. Largest ever seen on the planet, uh, of course, as the back as the the temperatures of the water rises, the bacteria take off, and there's a big bloom going on. And uh, they're saying the whales and whatnot are having a field day with this stuff. Um, so pluses and minuses. More more stories on the melting Antarctic. Shopping trolleys flung as Perth tornado carves path through the suburbs. This is in Australia. Uh, the tornado that cut a swath through Perth's northern suburbs on Thursday was strong enough to send a shopping trolley flying. The Bureau of Meteorology says spokeswoman Neil Bennett said the tornado that hit uh, brought wind speeds of at least 125 kilometer, kilometers per hour, so anyone in the area was lucky not to have been hurt by flying debris. So it looks like a good strong F1, maybe F2 tornado. Uh, mainland Australia rattled by 10th trimmer in less than seven days in all this one area. And again, there's a whole lot of fracking going on. 10,000 fish died from unknown cause in Missouri's Blue Springs Lake. And of course, they're testing. Hot rains fall on Saudi Arabia. Highest temperature and humidity combo ever recorded in rainfall. Uh, pilgrims to the holy city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia, must have been astonished on Thursday afternoon when the weather transformed from widespread dust with a temperature of 113 degrees Fahrenheit to a thunderstorm with rain. Remarkably, the air temperature during the thunderstorm was a sizzling 109 degree Fahrenheit and the relative humidity uh, at 18 percent. So apparently this big moist wind came in off the Red Sea combined and uh, they had this freak thunderstorm go on. And that's about all new they've got new going on tonight. Now we've got some situations going on on the RSOE. Uh, big landslide in India in the Kashmir district. Apparently very heavy snowfall caused a landslide on a major thoroughfare. Uh, the army had to be, be deployed to rescue a bunch of folks. Uh, they were given like 120 uh, visitors. They said oxygen for oxygen depletement. It's so high up in the mountains kind of thing. Uh, out of Wales, the United Kingdom, severe, severe flooding. They've actually had to send out helicopters and boat crews to rescue people from their homes and uh, establishments, people being swept away, that kind of thing. Uh, there's some pretty extreme weather going on in England right now. On top of that big ice storm, uh, Ireland had too as well, right? Forest fires continue in New Mexico, Lincoln National Forest, and Kirtland area. Um, ongoing situation. And a forest fire in Sri Lanka is being reported. That's about all new. I've got climate change. Let's go over to the nuclear stuff quick. Former Tokyo, former Tokyo police chief, TEPCO wanted to withdraw from Fukushima Diani, not only Diachi. Now you got to remember Fukushima Diani is the other nuclear plant that had problems during the tsunami, and there's pretty much a news blockout coming out from that nuclear power plant. Now they've got everybody concentrated on Diachi. Uh, respectively, you know, with number four, and we've got three uh, meltdowns complete. Uh, I would love to see um, what's really going on in Diani. Truly frightening. Higher and higher radioactivity levels expected to continue for years in bluefin tuna. Don't worry, folks. They'll just raise the uh, minimum levels, and you'll still be able to have that on your dinner plate. Arnie Gunderson. We almost had 15 meltdowns after 311 quake. A species-threatening event, major understatement there. Detail sketchy on radioactive leak at Ohio nuclear plant. Officials unsure how much leaked or for how long. Quote, I can tell you that it had not been an overly long time. Now this is the one they were uh, pressure testing before uh, firing the reactor back up after they did a fuel transfer and that kind of thing. Um, very strange things going on right now. Analysts, Fukushima will have devastating long-term health effects. It's up to us not to accept lies minimizing radiation as impact. And that is an understatement as well. 
More reports of mutations. Sparrow with albino head in Chiba near Tokyo. Albinism in birds common after Chernobyl. Quote, extremely rare in nature, says expert. TEPCO adds 60 ton cover on number fuel fuel pool. Um, basically, they're going to cover it up and try to shore it up that way. I'm not exactly sure um, how adding 60 tons to an already crumbling structure is going to help anything, um, but they are definitely working on that. And uh, again, it goes on and on. Finally, I want to go over to uh, Fukushima Diary, going to their daily logs. Foreigners leaving Japan. The number of foreigners registration. Uh, decreased by 56,000 people from 2010 to 2011, uh, the Ministry of Justice. And uh, definitely their tourism is down. Isn't it cheaper to fly uh, to Tokyo than anywhere else in the world right now? Hotspot found an elementary school at 254 kilometers from Fukushima. This radiation is far and wide, and they got the kids doing stuff. Elementary school to have students clean their pool gutter. Following up this article, safety limit of swimming classes in uh, Sequoia City, Fukushima Elementary School had their students clean around the pool. Uh, debris from the city known to be highly radioactive. They got little kids out decontaminating this stuff and I'm sure they're taking all the safety precautions with these kids. And none of the ministries and government offices purchase power from TEPCO. Why not? They own the damn thing now. And <laughs> rotten Japanese press. TEPCO conference ended within three minutes. They weren't asking any hard questions at all. So basically they took TEPCO's comment on the updates and everybody went about their business. And uh, Japan Prime Minister must restart Massive demonstration in front of the Prime Minister's official residence. Um, he's talking about restarting the, the oil and nuclear power um, reactors. The two of them they've been going on and on for months about. Um, let me see. The nuclear reactors must restart. Japan must restart two nuclear reactors to protect the country's economy and livelihoods. Congratulations. And that's about all I got for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Um, attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.